Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. And before we move on to the February reading, actually I have some exciting news to share with you today. I partnered with Keen for this video. And first of all, I'm so blessed to even have this opportunity. I didn't even expect to ever partner with them. But I do have some interesting information to share with you guys today. As a lot of you know, Keen is a very affordable, large and popular platform where you can connect with different psychics, mediums, astrologers, tarot readers um, for any sort of insight, whether it's about love, relationships or maybe health, career. They offer a variety of readings on there and a variety of advisors. I actually ended up receiving an amazing opportunity to, to check out the website myself and uh, I would like to share my experience with you today. So the sign up was very easy. It was very quick. You do have to do a quick questionnaire just to figure out what kind of insight you're looking for so they can match you with the right um, experts. And then once I did that, I just started shopping for the right psychic. Now, I would recommend to read reviews before you proceed because I feel like reviews are very important and pretty much every advisor on there has reviews. So I would go with that and of course I would go with my heart uh, just to see who you resonate with and who resonates with you. I did get to try a few psychics and I did like the ones that I've tried. I definitely found someone that I did not necessarily click with, but that's okay. You know, it's a big platform and I'm sure that you will be able to find somebody that kind of fulfills your needs. Uh, what I did like about the website is that you have three options on how you're able to connect with a psychic. It is a phone call, it is an email reading, and it is an online chat. Now, for me personally, I've tried a few phone calls and I've tried an online online chat. I did like it. I think it was very convenient considering that I was doing that at like 8 p.m. and there were a lot of people available on the site. That's another great advantage of Keen. You can connect with a psychic from work, from school, from home, 24-7. There is always somebody available and ready to chat with you. So the time here is not a problem. What's also great about the website is that you can always connect with the same psychic. If you like them, you can always develop a relationship with them. You can always come back to the same psychic and get insight whenever you want, which is also very convenient. And I do believe that it's good to have some sort of a relationship with the psychic so they know you, you know them, and that's how you develop that relationship. I think Keen is very good for that. And I actually ended up going back in my feed to see who I can connected with to see how long the call was and what the chat was all about because I've tried the chat as well and I could see everything on there. But the best thing that I'm coming to you with today is a promotion that Keen is currently running. If you do sign up with my link, which is trykeen.com111, you will be able to receive your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. I think this is a very good deal. And besides that, when you do become a member of the site, they start sending you weekly deals. For example, $5 free or buy $10 and receive $20 in credit. So there will always be deals there because Keen wants to make sure that it's affordable for you. And of course, all the advisors have different prices. Um, you're not really going to see the same price for everyone, but that's okay. Like I said, just shop around, just make sure that you connect on the spiritual, emotional uh, level with the psychic and then proceed. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly guide you through the process on how to get started on Keen. Like I said, it's very simple, very easy. So at first you will need to fill out a quick questionnaire just to figure out what kind of insight you're looking for. Maybe it's love, maybe it's relationships, maybe it's career. For everyone is going to be different. And also Keen provides you with an option to choose an advisor, uh, the type of advisor. Maybe it's a medium, a tarot reader, an astrologer, and so on and then you just quickly fill out your first name you fill out your birthday and you are all set and ready to go like I said it's a very very uh, fast process you don't really have to do much and then here you go. Uh, Keen provides you with a list of psychics. As you can see, you can see prices right away. You can also see reviews. And I told you that I think that reviews are very, very important. You can click on any profile. You can see what kind of services the psychic is providing. And you can see how exactly you are able to contact them, whether it's a chat or a phone call. 
And that's it guys. I definitely enjoyed my time with Keen. I do believe that I'm probably gonna be coming back since I cannot read for myself personally. But thank you so much Keen for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm really happy that I got an opportunity to even get this partnership. But now let's move on to February readings. Hi Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well and here's your February reading. I'm sorry that I did not post um, January readings is because I got slammed with requests. Once 2020 came around, everybody wanted a 2020 reading and my yearlies did very well. And I want to thank you guys that, you know, they did well because of you, okay? So let's start with your February um, for Sagittarius. Let's see what we can expect. So Sagittarius, what can Sagittarius expect to happen this February? And love, life, everything whatever comes up Ooh. Ooh, you guys already have two major arcanas here three major arcanas wonderful so at the bottom of the deck we do have knight of swords knight of swords could suggest that there will be something kind of rushing into your life. This could be information, news. This could be a person rushing into your life. But there is something that's kind of sweeping you off your feet in February, okay? We'll try to get at that. We'll try to see what it is. Um, but this could also suggest just a lot of hectic energy happening throughout the month. A lot of things happening. A lot of things um, you have to take care of. You know, you kind of always being on the go. Uh, maybe travel. You know, something along those lines. So the first card we have here is the Empress. And the Empress, I love this card, you know, especially if you're a female, it's all going to be about nurturing yourself. Maybe you could be possibly uh, spending a lot of time with your mother. You know, this could be the case as well. But Empress is a card of nurturing yourself. Not yourself, but maybe somebody else. For males uh, or for females, for both, it could suggest that maybe there might be some creative opportunity, creative project that you could be working on maybe it could be about planting seeds for something new for a new business for a new idea for you know something that you really really want to happen let's see why is the empress here the magician yeah def ten of swords there's definitely something here nine of swords oh ace of swords there is definitely something here that was stopping you for a very long time with Ten of Swords and Nine of Swords. Uh, it could be that you had some sort of a creative block. Now, I, I'm not saying that it's only about creativity. It could be about many different areas of life. It could be about new beginnings that were simply blocked for you. And it was really hard to push anything off the ground. It was really hard to initiate anything. And it seems like that uh, situation is coming to an end, okay? You no longer can deal with that you no longer can uh let it happen continue happening right so it could be you possibly either taking a new approach towards the same goals that you have had or maybe something finally coming to fruition where you can be like okay so now now that i have this um foundation this new foundation now i can build right um i'm not sure how exactly this could play out for you guys but it could be something stressful something um painful that could be stopping you from achieving your goals what i love the most about this fir first combination and this is the beginning of the month by the way the magician is here so the magician does promise you that you're going to have the right opportunities that you're going to have the right tools to manifest the outcome that you desire you know no matter what it is whether it's relationships or uh, career or hobbies or you know we are all dealing with different stuff here but with ace of swords also this is about sometimes getting to the truth getting the clarity out of the situation cutting the situation out of your life basically stopping it you know maybe not putting it on pause anymore but actually stopping it because you just don't want to deal with the same circumstances anymore something was interfering right now you're able to let it go now you're able to move on from it and finally use the opportunities that have been presented to you to manifest the future and with the empress here it's all about those beginnings that the, the initial steps you know to create something beautiful to create something worthy amazing start okay now the next card i have here is even more amazing the world and uh the sign before you got this and you know the world 
usually is a neutral um, neutral meaning. It could be that something negative could be, could be coming to an end, it could be something positive that's coming to an end, right? But it's always suggesting uh, an ending and a new beginning, a new shift, a new cycle, um, something completing. But here in this deck, the world is a very positive card. You know, this does suggest that there's relief coming, that there is something that you're finally able to accomplish that will bring you some sort of peace and you know, rest and uh, relief, like I said. So why is the world here? I don't even want to clarify it because it just looks so great. And we do have Ten of Swords here. We do have the Empress here. So there is definitely a shift scene. Transformation of some sort. Not even, no. It's just something was blocking you and you kind of just cut it out, you know. <sighs> cut off the tail <laughs> in, uh, in the beginning of the month. Why is the world here? Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, could be about finances, could be about independence, it could be judgment, final decisions, it could be the um, uh, situation that could, again, um, limit you. You know, it could limit you, it could limit your abilities, it could limit your uh, anything really, you know, your finances even. But with Nine of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles, yes, these could be financial cards. These are also cards of independence and movement. So you are going to be moving throughout the month. You are definitely going to be experiencing shifts and changes and you will be making progress. And with Knight of Pentacles, it's usually a very rational approach, it's very slow, it's steady. Slow and steady wins the race type of thing, which is not Sagittarius vibe, but sometimes you have to slow down, sometimes you have to really analyze everything you're doing, considering that now some new door is opening for you, you could really work on your independence this time, you could really show everybody what you're worth and what you're capable of. And with Nine of Pentacles, this could be achieved. For example, it was maybe a very difficult project at work, took months, stressed you out, drained you, and now that you're finally completing it with the world card, you know, you're able to see the fruits of your labor, you're able to finally sit down and enjoy. Uh, it could be a new financial venture, it could be something new that's coming that you will would love to work on, right? And now you're strategizing your next move, how to do this, how to do that. You know, it's. I think it's actually very exciting. Now the next card I have here, and this is going towards mid-month, right? Two of Swords. Of course sometimes the, it is about making decisions, there is a certain decision that could uh, be required to, you know, be made by you. Uh, but what can I say with Two of Swords? In this deck, she already knows where she's aiming, she already knows what she's getting out of it, she already knows what the outcome is going to be. So do not hesitate to make the choice. You already know how it's going to go. You know, you should not have any doubts about it. Now, let's see, why is Two of Swords here? I still want to see what it's all about because I clarify every card. If it's about your potential, I'll tell you in a moment. So if, if it's about your potential, if you're concerned that you don't have enough potential for something, that you don't have enough of something to achieve a goal, look, with the moon card here, I hope it's focusing, but um, we do see a cat looking at its reflection in the water and what the cat is seeing is a panther which means that you do have that hidden potential in you and you may not see it right away you may not you know may, you may feel like others are not seeing it but that's just your perspective on it in reality you do have much more potential within you than you know and you should start using it because with the two of swords here, again, you know that you know what's happening. You have that inner confidence, but you know maybe you don't project it into the real world. Maybe you don't don't project it to people you deal with, you, who you interact with. You should really see that potential within yourself. And I'm not sure if it could happen to you in February. Uh, I'm not sure if this is something that you know you will realize soon. Um, but it's there, you know, it's there and we have the magician here as well. You're able to manifest your reality, you're able to manifest what you want. You have the tools, you have the opportunities. Look, you might think that you're a cat, but you're actually a panther. So, <laughs> 
yes think about that you know um, you do have a lot of potential especially for those for example that are that want to get a new job right but you're not confident enough you're not confident to even apply for that job to go through an interview process and everything please try please give it a try because there's so much more to you here than the card than the cards are showing and you need to you need to start seeing that okay the lovers is here as well the lovers is about choices and of course the emperor came up as well and the emperor is all about taking charge being that authority maybe you will be in a role of an authority in february maybe you've never been in a role of authority before maybe you're going to be nervous that you will not be able to handle it you will be able to handle it can it come with fears though can it come with some kind of concerns right it could if you've never done this before if it's out of your comfort zone you know you could end up in a situation like that but the cards basically want to tell you that you do have the potential to be the emperor to be in charge to take control so it's beautiful here okay now the last card and we're completing the spread with the sun for some of you who have had a depressing, you know, recent past, this is the light at the end of the tunnel. For others, this could be maybe uh, receiving some positive information, positive news, um, completion of some sort, you know, happiness, new beginnings. I love how we are beginning the spread with the Empress, right? Planting the seeds. Uh, new beginnings and I love how we finish the spread with the Sun which is the most positive card in tarot also suggesting new beginnings positivity happiness joy why is the Sun here and I feel like I feel like it's a very good month for you uh, not even good I feel like it's um, a very important significant month for you because too many major arcanas, too many cards indicating your potential. So for the Sun card here, we do have Four of Cups, we do have the Tower, we do have Ten of Pentacles, and we do have Six of Cups. Now, uh, do not fear the Tower here. First of all, I am going kind of by the meanings uh, for this deck, okay? I could go with traditional meanings, which I do normally, but I like to pay attention to the images. In this Tower card, she's the one destroying the foundation. She's the one destroying that Tower, which suggests that you will be the one initiating your changes. I do believe that you could even see that hidden potential, that powerful potential that you have within you by the end of the month, and you could initiate those changes yourself. You know, this is not about getting, receiving some shocking news and realizing that there is no more foundation that you've been building for years. No, this is you destroying something in your life this is you initiating a change so that you no longer have to feel uh, some sort of uh, you know not apathy could be apathy for some but some sort of sadness you know that you're not able to do whatever you need to do that you're not able to achieve things no I do see you taking charge here like the Emperor I do do see you initiating something and I do see you getting there getting to the goal six of cups and ten of Pentacles first of all if you want to share your happiness with someone, if you want to share your success with someone, this could be very possible. This could also suggest that maybe your family will be on your side, that they will be supporting you, they will be helping you throughout the process. They will be there for you, so you're not alone. And if you know it's about time to initiate a big change in your life, do it, okay? Do not be afraid to do it. You most likely will not regret it. You have all the help from the physical world, you know, from your family, from your friends, you have help from above and you have your own strength that you may not necessarily be seeing, but it's there. So let it out. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.